Oceanus is an autonomous research ship that will operate without a crew and cruise the mid-Atlantic from the very, very northern reaches to the very, very south, collecting climatological and oceanographic data. There's an opportunity to revolutionise marine science, revolutionise oceanography. The Oceanus will be able to access areas that we can't currently get to. And also to democratise it and actually give far more people access to the data and the opportunity to make measurements at sea. Oceanus will be able to sample when we cannot physically get out to sample because the weather's too extreme. It would be really interesting to understand how the plankton are, are coping with these stormy events. So the project is sustainable in that almost all the materials are recyclable, so it'll be aluminum. The fuel itself, hydrogenated vegetable oil, is basically a waste oil or made from plant product with very little, if any, emission from the ship when it's operating at sea. For nearly 25 years now, we've been running an expedition called the Atlantic Meridional Transect, or the AMT for short. It's a project that's been running since 1995. We run a series of expeditions between the UK and the South Atlantic. I think the excitement with autonomy is the actual scale that can be covered in terms of time and space that we can't do with a ship. Autonomy and autonomous capability is a key to the future of marine science. For the same cost as a large research vessel, we could have a whole swarm, a whole fleet of these autonomous vessels operating throughout the world's oceans. Guardian AI is marine AI software that provides capability for object detection and hazard avoidance. We'll be looking even further ahead than we were during the Mayflower project. We were able to assess far more complex incidents at sea, processing multi-ship coral reg scenarios. The ocean is under continuous stresses from multiple points of view, from ocean acidification, marine plastics, pollution, global warming. And it's about how we monitor the world's oceans and how we can manage that changes and understand the speed at which those changes are occurring so that we can manage them and keep the oceans in a healthy condition for future generations.